right, I've got the motors pitched forward a little bit on the variable frame here. See I'm missing a, one of the landing legs, but still should fly fine. Haven't really measured the angle, but I'm guesstimating it's probably, I don't know, about 10 degrees. See how it flies that way and go from there. Okay, so you can see it's hovering on that angle. And it does kind of take off a little bit when I try to add yaw. If I do it quickly, it stays in position pretty well, though. Oh, that looks kind of cool. See, so yeah, a flyable, but might feel a little weird. Bring it in and really crank the angle up here. So the angle can be just adjusted just by turning the motors together. The uh, amount of force required to do that is obviously going to be, uh, you know, dependent on how much tension you have on these screws here. What I have seems to be working pretty well. All right, now I've got it at a pretty stream, extreme angle now because it's probably almost. I don't know, 40 degrees, maybe not quite. Oh yeah, and you can see it hovering there. Steep, much steeper angle. Ooh, a little squirrely on the yaw though. Hmm, <laughs> still workable though. <laughs> that looks so weird. Ooh, a little wobble there. Ooh. So yeah, it looks like it's going forward pretty good on about a flat level there. Took a minute to get used to, but it's it's pretty flyable. Kind of wants to climb though. A little little weird. Maybe it's just the tendency for the nose to pick back up in a Hovering state. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Give it one more go here. There we go. Let's do some flybys here. And you can see the quad's going forward. When it's almost level. Should be pretty good for camera use. Ooh, <laughs> little durability test there. Yeah, one of these got misaligned a little bit. Vent propeller, I think. Take a look here. I think that'll be good enough for now.